Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about compound interest. There's a couple of different ways in which you can do this um, and this is the first video that's going to use a table in order to calculate the amount of compound interest or the, uh, the total amount that somebody would have earned in a savings account. Uh, I'm going to post the question just below the video in the description box. Uh, it's aimed at uh, GCSE roundabout B grade and it concerns uh, uh, somebody who's got an investment of four and a half thousand pounds. They're going to put four and a half thousand pounds into a bank account, and in that bank account, they're going to earn four percent compound interest. Okay. Now the important thing about it is it's compound. Uh, there is a different type of interest which is called simple interest, but in this particular example, it's four percent compound per annum. And the question asks for you to calculate how much money will be in the account at the end of three years. Okay, if you have a look at um, mathsrap.co.uk there is a post on this particular question and also there's a quick test so you can download a couple of the quick test questions and have a go for yourself or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, have a look at the playlist on compound interest and interest questions. Okay, so um, the question itself is £4,500 um, it's going to be put into a bank account for 4% compound over a three year period. And the question is, at the end of the three years, how much? Okay. Right, the way I'm going to do it today is going to be using a table. However, in the next video, I'm going to approach exactly the same question, but I'm going to use a formula. And hopefully the answers will be both the same. Okay, so the first thing is with a table, what we generally tend to do is we look at um, the amount and I'm going to put first year, second year, and then finally third year. Okay, so this is my table here and they start off with four and a half thousand pounds. So I put that into into the account. Now at the end of the first year they're going to be paid 4% compound interest. So in other words, what we have to do is work out 4% of four and a half thousand pounds. Now if you use a calculator or you do it as a mental method or you do it as a as a formal method, basically it's 4% times 4,500 and you calculate that through and you're going to get 180 pounds. Okay, so because it's compound that 180 pounds is now joined to this uh, initial capital. So in the second year we've got 4,500 plus 180 so we've got 4,000 680 pounds in the account and this time we're going to earn 4% of 4680 and if you calculate that through that will give you 187 pounds 20. It's actually only 7 pounds 20 more than, than the original uh, 180 but compound interest is very very powerful over a period of a long period of time uh, because each time you're getting 4% of a bigger amount. So this time I'm going to add that £187.20 onto my 4680 and I'm going to have £4,867.20p and this time I'm going to earn 4% of this capital, so it's 4% of 4,867 pounds 20. I'm going to have to refer to my notes and that's going to give me 194 pounds and 69p. Okay, so you can see at the end of the third year, uh, Raj is going to have a total of this amount plus the interest. Okay, so this amount plus the interest, so if I add that on, it's going to be 194.69. Add it all together, and I'm going to, again, refer to my notes, £5,061.89. And that will answer the question that at the end of the three-year period, 
the person has earned £5,061.89 from initial capital of four and a half thousand. Uh, I hope that's okay for you. Please do have a look at the MathsRap website or subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you have a look at the next video, I'm going to do exactly the same problem but use the formula uh, in order to arrive at hopefully the same figure. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.